five fiends or four fiends, sorry. And um, uh, Grubby just using um, uh, healing wards whenever he can, and uh, managing to focus down uh, one more fiend. But he does use a raider as well, and uh, looks like uh, another fiend for Happy is in trouble. But he does just coil it, and uh, Grubby being forced to run away a bit here. And uh, Blade Master at minus seven point four armor. You can see the combined effect of all that focusing really means that he can um, that he takes a lot of extra damage. He actually takes six percent extra damage as opposed to any da damage reduction just because of armor. And that's sort of massive for a um, agility hero, which obviously is supposed to be um, sort of armored as it's bread and butter. And looks like Grubby will get level four here on his on his Blade Master. And um, using healing wards again, you can see he doesn't want to use them in fights because they can just get so quickly killed. But Code of Beast with the plus four, so obviously he uh, has the um, Kodo upgrade as well. And um, Grubby's starting to get uh, Headhunters, and he might get the Berserker upgrade at some point as well. Yeah, he's getting the Berserker upgrade now. And this is obviously an, in anticipation of um, Destros, uh, because you have a couple choice against Destros, but uh, I prefer Berserkers really, because uh, there's uh, not there's not really sort of the luck element that there is with um, things like Batriders, and um, Blade Master is now level four, and um, obviously with this orb he can really do if he if one unit gets caught off a bit, caught out a bit, then um, he can really do a lot of damage to it, and it looks like he's gonna go for this one statue. And meanwhile, he did it right after Happy had pulled sort of the hardest creeps in the map, and so um. Uh, Happy's gonna be you need to be very careful here because obviously he can't coil over them to um, ensure that he gets the experience either because they're immune to magic. So um, ha Happy's gonna need to be very careful. Grubby is dusted here, but he could just try and come in an anyways, and there's not really much you can do up against that. And um, Happy with his first Destro out now, um, we'll probably try and uh, just sort of keep an eye out for uh, Grubby. Obviously the Destro can attack the um, Golem. Uh, Grubby is, does come in now and. Uh, we'll have to see if he can um, actually get the kill or not. Um, he is sort of, um, as you can see, hiding behind the golem, so it would be impossible for for um, Happy to right click on uh, the Blade Master. But um, the Death Knight is does manage to get level four, and um, I'm not sure whether or not Grubby got the item from that actually. Um, no, it doesn't look like he did. I'm not sure what the item was. So let's take a look at um, the heroes. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, that's very nice for uh, Happy actually getting a um, pipe of insight. Uh, obviously, lots of mana regeneration, so good for. Uh, for undead because obviously they're so reliant on mana and uh, combining that with uh, the um, mana regeneration of statues is just really effective and on level four and a bit now on the uh, torn chieftains though on the torn chieftain though and um, now creeping up the equivalent camp on his side and I'm actually bringing his blade master back in I guess he just wants to um, get that extra damage per damage out and uh, maybe even his torn chieftain is going to hit level five off this uh, if he doesn't bring in his blade master but he does bring it in anyways. And so I'm not sure this is even the best choice. He might have been better just to let his chief and hit five. But and what's the item here? Uh, Cloak of Flames. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I'm not the worst item in the game, but um, certainly against fiends, it's not the it's not brilliant because uh, they don't really bunch up as much in a way that you can get your hero sort of in the middle of them. And um, meanwhile, I'm happy continuing to push. He is at 50 food, but uh, I imagine he's going to push into um, upkeep soon, especially if he's um, looking for a fight like it looks like he is now. And um, the uh, Blade Master getting um, dusted once again, and uh, looks like he's just gonna linger about a bit, maybe try hoping to get some sort of kill, but doesn't quite um, manage to because he knows that focusing power is just so intense from Happy, and so um, he just continues to creep in. His Torn Chief is getting closer and closer to five now, and obviously level three stomps pretty effective. Five seconds done, only six second cooldown. So you, if you can get in a good position, you can really um, take out their army for a good period of time, especially with um, 300 mana like this. And uh, meanwhile, the um, uh, Happy has four, three, two heroes. Yeah, and actually, um, some of those are close to leveling up as well. So Happy should, pro should probably creep a bit more, um, even if it has to be easy camps, just before he um goes and uh, goes and tries to fight. And as you can see, I'm putting frost armor on both the um, statues, just so that um the Blade Master can't come in and do a small bit of damage and run away again, because obviously um those statues don't heal up very quickly. They only heal up from uh, the unholy aura, and um, that that's obviously only at level two at the moment. And uh, meanwhile, four four now for Grubby. And does he have any upgrades? I wouldn't be surprised if he had some sort of. No, he doesn't. I'm surprised he hasn't got the armor upgrade. Really, obviously the armor upgrade really good for um. Or because it's pretty universal. Uh, obviously it wouldn't hit the uh, Kodos, but it hit everything else. And um, happy. I'm running away here. Yeah, he, he. I guess he was shopping there. Maybe he bought a heal scroll or something. Uh, in Von Pot, actually, that's pretty sensible. And. 
Um, as you can see, I'm happy actually with the mana potion on Death Knight as well. I think that's really well worth doing because you can save so many units if you have the, if you can um, use coils throughout the battle as opposed to just at the beginning or just at the end, like um, lots of people do. And meanwhile, Grubby by the looks of things is just long range mining a bit, uh, but I'm happy to scout this with uh, one skeleton warrior, and uh, we'll just do put a bit of damage down. And um, no frost armor on those statues, so Grubby is able to do a bit of damage. But immediately, I'm um, happy just converts that one to a um, destroyer because that means that it's going to heal up quicker from. Um, the aura and the uh, statue, and he had a spare statue anyway, so there's no point in sort of leaving it to wait a bit. And uh, that means he can absorb the mana and then um, get ready for an attack from Grubby, which does look pretty imminent at this point. And um, Grubby now coming in and uh, using his um, orb to great effect, because obviously it means he can attack um, the destroyers when they're um, from range. And uh, Grubby using his berserker um, up, uh, upgrade to uh, do so much extra damage to those um, destros and. I think the Torn Chieftain is, um, has popped an Invon pot here and was looking for a good stop and actually gets a very nice stomp there. But um, it does is in danger of being focused down, obviously, once his Invon pot runs out. Uh, but um, Grubby using Invon pots on both his heroes, actually, because he knows about the massive um, focusing power of the... Uh, of the undead, and I'm uh, happy being forced to run back into his base a bit. And Grubby, I'm not sure he's, he, he's actually going to want to take this fight. He, he will actually manage to take down the alchemist, or maybe not. Um, no, he manages to use chemical rage to get out of there. That's very nice by him. But um, the uh, lich now getting a bit caught out as well, and. Obviously, um, Blade Master being able to do a lot of damage to it, but again, I'm um, being forced to run away, and this has actually turned around a bit for Happy. Obviously, um, sort of the undead base is massively rigged. You never really want to fight there, and uh, the this uh, Grubby loses. Uh, I think it was a grunt, and now a berserker as well, and. Um, and, and is still sort of chasing units down now, and uh, one of these coders has eaten a um, fiend, so Happy's going to want to kill that one first, ideally, although um, actually he'll probably manage to kill both unless um, Grubby turns around, which he actually should at this point. He should heal up his heroes and then turn around, but he's actually bringing both his heroes back. Um, I guess he wants to go shopping, but um, uh, uh, or maybe he wants he wanted to go to uh, his voodoo lounge. Obviously he's lost the one in the middle of his base. He, was, he lost that a while ago. But um, I guess he decided he didn't have time to go shopping so he just brings his heroes back in and um, has to, he's being very careful with the Torn Chieftain. Uh, obviously almost 600 health but really that can turn into very little very quickly. And um, the uh, alchemist taking a lot of damage now. Uh, actually chemical raging in rather than out. That's a bit sort of terrifying. But um, he does have an invon pot and um, happy getting one more coil off on the uh, blade master and um, alchemist at 37 hit points and actually uh, blade master being forced to run away again and I'm surprised that um, happy is being so aggressive with this. I'm, I would have thought he would have um, at least kept it within a uh, range of the uh, statues or something. I guess he has an invon pot, but if a wind walked blade master comes in now, he can kill it before um, he'll even know to pop, pop a um, invon pot. And uh, as you can see now, he is healing up a bit quicker because of the combined effect of aura and uh, statues, but uh, Grubby will be now healing up as well and probably will be trying to come in for another fight. He is at um, 45 food, whereas Happy is at 56. So um, yeah, Grubby really uh, uh, will probably be wanting to... Um, actually, if he could fight while the Alchemist is still there, that'd be quite nice as well, because obviously uh, Grubby will be able to heal up significantly quicker. As you can see, his units will probably almost be all back to full health by this point. Uh, he does still have a lot of berserkers. I think, if anything, maybe a couple too many. But uh, he could use a couple more raiders and grunts. But um, certainly, uh, berserkers aren't bad because they can just they just can have such high damage output. So long as you have a good tank and also um, the torrent chieftain as well, it can stomp just so you can't actually attack the berserkers when they're in their sort of preposterous rage form. And Alchemist just sort of taking uh, constant damage from Grubby's blade master just whenever he can. But um, blade master continuing to run away, and as you can see. Um, uh, Grubby just uh, continuing, or I'm uh, happy just continuing to shop, uh, and actually has picked up a uh, shade now as well. I'm not sure if he's going to be going for a, for some uh, worms or not. Maybe, no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like he just wants a scouting against the blade master, and this is going to be quite nice for him if he if I uh, can catch the blade master out. Blade master does actually I'm um, lingering about, and he won't know that there's a shade about, so he does need to be a bit careful here. But um, and uh, Grubby does lose um or will lose at least one of these peons and probably at least two because actually no he doesn't chase them down. That's a bit unfortunate, but. Um, not not too bad for Grubby, all things considered. And uh, Grubby now I'm um, being forced to camp in his base a bit. Obviously, it's a bit of turn, um, a bit of a turn of fortunes for um, an undead. And I'm happy now coming and getting in a very nice nova off just on one um, raider. Obviously, you want to take out those raiders as soon as possible. And uh, combined with ghouls, it's pretty possible to take those out. And um, are those fiends go? No, fiends don't manage to cancel the um, salve. That's a bit unfortunate. But um, Grubby now coming in um, or probably will come in. He's going to let um, Happy maybe take a bit of damage from the burrows first and then um, come in as late as he thinks is possible because he knows he's on a bit of a back foot at this point. And um, Blade Master now um, a bit exposed but obviously um, can run away pretty quickly even um, with that shade around. And uh, 
uh, get, yeah, we, as you can see, his blade master gets focused down pretty quickly, and um, this is quite nice for um, Happy because it's gonna be really hard for him for Grubby to get his um, Toran Chieftain into a very nice position. Actually, I'm um, getting a bit careless there, Happy, and m does manage to get one stomp, and um, looks like the Death Knight is forced to pop his Invon Pot. He does have a heal scroll and a um, TP if he needs it, and I'm um, happy just going in for an, for an attack now, but he needs to pop his um, TP just so his Death Knight doesn't get focused down. It's a bit of an un unfortunate mistake there that he, meant, that he made there, and happy now with 1-0 upgrades on his fiends, and I wonder if Grubby's actually bothered to get any... No, Grubby's still with no upgrades, um, which is a bit surprising. Actually, he's at 51 food now, which he really just kill one peon, but... Um, I guess he actually he's not mining any gold at this point, so it doesn't matter if he moves into 51 food because he's not actually losing any not losing out on any upkeep. Although it does look like he's going to go for some long distance mining, and um, it's a bit surprising that Grubby didn't actually save any of his gold for a um, tiny great hall or anything. But I guess he's just been s under so much pressure that he hasn't been able to um, save up for an expansion or anything. Oh, actually no, he has saved up for an expansion with his um, Torn Chieftain. Sorry, I was so busy watching the Blade Master, I didn't see that the Torn Chieftain actually just bought a tiny great hall, and this is going to be very nice for Grubby. Although um, that 51 food is going to bite him in the ass, surely. Um, oh no, he's put down to 50. Must have killed. Pee on. I'm oh, really not paying attention today. And um, Grubby needs to be careful not to like, oh, yeah, okay, he's made sure that one peon doesn't go back to the main base first and lose out on a bunch of, bunch of gold. And this one shade just running about here, obviously a bit 